in their home whites. And Notre Dame with Jawan Durham jumping center. It's the Tar Heels who have the basketball first to get things underway here at the Dean Dome. Carolina's a great job on back-to-back -back defensive possessions. Carolina took it away and then gave it up. Here comes Prentice Hub, two on one for the Irish if they hurry. And it's an easy layup on the break by Jawan Durham. You know, we got a shot of Roy Williams earlier, and who he was talking to was actually the ACC preseason player of the year, Garrison Brooks, who was not in the starting lineup for the second straight game. Time out, North Carolina on Wednesday lost in Atlanta to Georgia Tech, and Brooks didn't start that game because of defense the previous game. On the arc where North Carolina has struggled, he's been the one guy they can depend on to knock down a shot. And there is Walton on cue on the nice kick out from Brooks. For the Tar Heels, happy to be back home. Top of the key three. is He's the only guy that's been consistently giving them a threat from beyond that three-point arc. Now 9 of 17 on the year from distance. Well, and it's the junior class when you consider Hub, Goodwin, as well as Zuseski. These, are the, these guys are the core of this team as Goodwin knocks down to three. Notre Dame leads the ACC this season in three-pointers made per game and in shooting percentage. Three more for North Carolina at the other end on the triple by Leaky Black. Two offensive rebounds for North Carolina on this possession alone, and that's where the Tar Heels beat you. Normally it ends up being a three-pointer, and it does for Kermit Walton, who's a recipient of a definite. That time they did. Leshevsky, clean look, nothing but net. When you look at what they're doing in a nice drive and kick by Jogo, who finds Leshevsky, and I'll tell you what, Leshevsky is shooting the basketball as well as anyone in the country, leads the ACC and field goal percentage, but shoots over 55% from three. He should never get an open look against your defense. Carolina has not had one, and you're talking about normally an offensive juggernaut that is the Tar Heels. That is a surprising stat. First 10 minutes of every practice doesn't take what he thinks is a bad shot. And that is an indication for coach of whether he's looking for his shot enough. Coming into this game, leads the nation. And this is a guy that knocks down threes. Apple Hill about an hour and a half, hour 45 to get there. But, uh, you know, my invitation only lasted for a particular amount of time. <laughs> a lot of it has to do with the fact that Mike Gray told us how he came back physically. He didn't see him for five months. But when he came back, he could tell that he was a different player. That little jump hook by Walker Kessler ended a long drought for Carolina. And he picks up the block shot at the rim. Here comes Playtech the other way, has it poked away. I knew that that was a way for you to get Syracuse in. I knew you had some no, type of Syracuse no, mention. No, no, no. <laughs> Isaiah Wong's my guy. Okay, I wanted okay. to get Wong in there. Back out front to Brooks. Shot clock at five. Brooks fires away. Nothing but net. Give him three more. Ryan gave Black room, and he didn't want to pull the trigger, Corey. Instead, Leaky Black drives the bucket. So as we saw, Kansas at Fog Allen Fieldhouse, home against Texas today, lose by 25. We've seen Duke lose twice at home at Cameron as Baycott gets his first points. Amazing, but was a very good basketball player then. Now he's a very good basketball player and a great athlete. Cormac Ryan off the terrific crossover, the pull-up for two. A new scouting report, so it hasn't been a lot of scouting in this one, but yet they have come out with the same level of intensity and playing hard trying to get a win. Right now they have not gotten the production from their freshman backcourt. R.J. Davis and Caleb Love combined zero points, one assist, one turnover. Davis in the starting lineup for the second half. Well, what, are you not going to mention the fact that I was correct about the fact that Lachesky got a shot on the first possession and then North Carolina throws the ball in the paint on the first possession? Are you, I mean, you ask me. Interior. And so instead of trying to shoot threes and battle Notre Dame from the exterior, they're going to, wait a minute. Was that Lachesky? Did Nate Lachesky just bank in a three? for the Tar Heels. They don't name official captains usually until the end of the season, but clearly he and Andrew Playtech would be the co-captains. Cormac Ryan holds his pivot foot, finds Leshevsky the trail man, and he drains the three. That's the Nate Leshevsky I know. Get the ball inside. They don't feel as though Notre Dame can guard them on the interior, and Roy Williams is trying to exploit that. Prentice Hub. 
around the rim out and then back in. Not only knocking down a three, but attacking the basket in this game, but that's a defensive lapse. You cannot go under the screen. Hit that boy. Durham gets the double team, bring it back out, Hub from the short corner for two. Brooks from the foul line. Comfortable shot for the senior. Hub looks to feed the post. The face up jump shot rattles home for Juwan Durham. Contact did force Leseski to lose the basketball, but it's a legal play. Sharp at the other end. He's always able to absorb contact. Specifically didn't say man crush. <laughs> I, I thought I could basketball. sneak that one in. No, no, no. <laughs> basketball crush. There's my guy. Well, right now, he's Roy Williams' basketball crush. Back-to-back -back <laughs> possessions. I'll give it to you. You were, you were on it. I didn't think you listened to me that much to where you would have figured that one out. What was that? <laughs> well, i tell you who's not listening. They all told me, no, they were not coming to Oak Hill. That's what they all have in common. I recruited all four of those guys. <laughs> and they said yes to Kevin Boyle down at Montverde. Not only by going undefeated and playing as well as they did, but by having all of those personalities to mesh together and play to win the way that they did. Tremendous amount of development you know, around the basket as far as his scoring is concerned. But here they come again. Guarding that possession. He did a great job of getting his hand on the basketball. I'm not sure his foot ever hit that. That stat we're showing there, six first-half turnovers. Really, four or five of them came in the first four minutes. I believe that he can use a couple years in college to develop into a really good point guard and then venture into the NBA. I don't think it's ready for him right now. Speaking of ready, Nate Lachesky might be ready versus Virginia on Wednesday. Love tees it up, and he's got it. Five to shoot. Goodwin's pass taken away. Here come the Tar Heels, and there goes once again De'Ron Sharp for two more. And he's on the verge of becoming the first Tar Heel this season to reach the 20-point plateau. And there it is on the putback, given 21. How much he's played. One of the things he's been able to do is stay out of foul trouble. That's one of the things that's hindered him throughout this season as Juwan Durham is now able to try to take the lead back for Notre Dame. Ron Sharp getting it done in the painted area. Both these guys, big time players, and finding a way to help their team win. So they know to go after the basketball. And when you're not, I mean, let's be honest with it. You're not a good shooting team. You know you've got to go back and get it. This time it pays off once again for Walton knocking down a three. Under two minutes to go in regulation. Hey. Shovel pass to the cutter. Layup is good by Jogo. Bray said it doesn't have to be fair, and Roy Williams said he didn't feel like that either team had an advantage or disadvantage of playing this game. Sharp, the dunk. He's got 25. Great play by Juwan Durham. We talked about his shot blocking prowess coming over, getting a big block on that possession. Coast to coast. Fred is up with a layup. 65-64. Now 10 seconds to shoot. Final 15 seconds of regulation. Leaky Black for the lead. He banks it home. Nine seconds to go. Into the paint. Finds Durham. His shot no good. Ball kicks around out of bounds. And the Tar Heels survive 66-65.